I'm probably completely unique in terms of my cultural heritage. I'm, I'm half Guyanese, half South Cypri. I don't think anyone else could say that. I'm Tim. I work in an advertising agency in London. I'm a completely unique mix. My mum came from Guyana, my dad from Northern Cyprus, and my parents completely rebelled against that cultural norm and against their parents' wishes and married each other. I guess that's, this is the product of, of rebellion. I grew up in southwest London and it's pretty much predominantly white and I never sort of realised, oh, wow, I'm actually this crazy mix that, like, I would tell people where my parents are from and they'd just be like, where, where's that? My dad, he was from northern Cyprus and there was a civil war when he was younger so he had to migrate to London and he was like nine or ten. He told me about this story about this kid at school when he first came to England. This kid at school was asking, what's your name? And he was like, what? what, what wash my name? Like, oh, why do I need to wash my name? And he was like, oh, no, wash your name. Like, what's your name? My mum, she came over to this country when she was 19 to train as a nurse. And like, I mean, 19 years old, like that's pretty ridiculous if you think about it right now. Like moving halfway across the world when you're that age. On a night out, went to a nightclub. Apparently it was her and her friends. They would put their handbags on the dance floor and then just dance around them. And then my dad came over, apparently with his silly little moustache, and introduced himself. And my mum introduced herself as well, but she lied about her name because she was embarrassed and said her name was Susan. Um, and then she, he got her phone number and then drove her home. And then the next day comes and he tries ringing the number and he speaks to someone else. Because back in those days, you didn't have your own personal mobile phone. You'd have a phone that the whole corridor shared in her dorms. And he phoned there, someone else from a different bedroom picked up. Was He was asking for Susan and everyone was like, who's Susan? No, like, we don't have any Susans here. And then after a while, my mum like, suddenly realised, well, wait, I'm, I'm the Susan. I just lied about my name the other night and there's guy, that guy calling me. Back in Guyana, most people would just get an arranged marriage. So my grandparents are from an arranged marriage and that would have just happened to you if you, if you stayed there. Um, and I mean, the, like most people predominantly just marry other Guyanese people. With my dad's side, I know like his parents were definitely against him marrying someone who wasn't Turkish Cypriot. I mean, my dad persevered with the relationship and got married, and I know they didn't come to the wedding because they didn't agree with the principle. I feel unique that, like, love conquering all of that is, is basically given this, like, my, like, I wouldn't exist without my parents acting in the way that they did. Bereavement is like one of the hardest things that I reckon anyone will have to go through. I like wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy, but it's made me like one of the most like it's given me the most strength out of anything that's happened. Like, and that that's what I have, like given a bad situation, it it just empowers you. You use it as your fuel to go on and and to be better and keep on working at it. Like. I mean, I, I wear his watch every day. Like this, this is the watch he wore every day. I wear it every day, and it just feels like he's always there, and like he's still living on. You can't be stuck in tradition and in this conservative nature. You have to keep up with with the modern times, and love can just trump all. Basically, it, it just would make you do. Uh, it, it, not irrational things, but like it, it, it definitely just like has this massive power on our decisions. And I guess it's it's kind of like a silent, like motive in everything that we do that we don't realise. Mm -hmm.